In our previous video, we tried to understand some parameters of an aircraft. If anyone hasn't watched it yet, the link is in the description, so don't miss out, go watch it. China's supersonic jet, faster than Sun of Concord, achieves milestone. China aims to rival the Sun of Concord with a supersonic jet capable of flying from London to New York in under two hours. Beijing-based space transportation achieved 3,106 miles per hour in recent tests, four times the speed of sound. Their Jingdo 400 engine, twice as fast as Concorde, reached over 65,600 feet using detonation combustion technology, which reduces weight and costs by eliminating compressors and turbines. Future plans and competition. The engine, with potential for high-speed near-space travel, is being developed for the Yunshin passenger plane, expected by 2027. Meanwhile, US-based Boom Technologies XB-1 has reached 667 miles per hour and 27,716 feet in tests. Before understanding the ramjet engine, let's first talk a bit about the Mach number. Welcome to Animated Orbit, where we explore the fascinating world of science and technology. If you're passionate about learning complex concepts in a simple and engaging way, you've come to the right place. Today, we'll dive into the world of ramjet engines, an incredible technology that powers some of the fastest aircraft ever built. So, let's get started. Mach number. Mach number represents the speed of an object relative to the speed of sound in the surrounding medium. Subsonic refers to speeds slower than the speed of sound, Mach 1. Objects moving at Mach numbers less than 1 are considered subsonic. Transonic refers to speeds close to the speed of sound, typically between Mach 0.8 and Mach 1.2. Supersonic refers to speeds faster than the speed of sound, Mach 1. Objects moving at Mach 1 or higher are considered supersonic. Hypersonic refers to speeds greater than Mach 5, which is five times the speed of sound. A ramjet engine is a type of jet engine that uses the aircraft's high speed to compress air, without moving parts like compressors or turbines, to generate thrust. It works efficiently at supersonic speeds. Now, let's take a look at the internal structure and understand how it works. In a ramjet engine, the spike helps compress incoming air by creating shock waves, slowing it down and increasing pressure before it enters the combustion chamber, ensuring efficient performance at high speeds. A flame holder in a ramjet engine creates turbulence to stabilize the flame and ensure continuous combustion at high speeds. A combustor in a ramjet engine is where the fuel mixes with compressed air and is ignited to produce high-temperature gases, which are then expelled to generate thrust. Fuel injectors introduce fuel into the compressed air in the combustor, ensuring efficient mixing and ignition. This allows continuous combustion, producing the exhaust gases needed for thrust. Cold section includes the intake and diffuser, handling low temperature air without high heat. Hot section contains the combustor and nozzle, where fuel is ignited, creating high temperatures for thrust. The outer casing of a ramjet engine is used for protection. It shields internal components from extreme heat generated during combustion and helps maintain structural integrity under high-speed conditions. A ramjet engine is typically divided into three main sections, compression, air is compressed as it enters the engine through the intake, usually by the vehicle's high speed. Combustion, the compressed air mixes with fuel and is ignited in the combustion chamber to produce high temperature gases. Exhaust, the gases are expelled through the nozzle, generating thrust. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please like and share and don't forget to subscribe.